Its origins are a bit murky, but the results are clear. As the ice bucket challenge went viral and people worldwide were challenged to douse themselves or donate to the ALS Association. The result? Tens of millions of dollars raised for ALS research and patient support. Patients like Jonathan Bander. I grew up in the Bronx where we talk quickly. I can't anymore. And I have no use of my left hand. Jonathan's first symptoms were dropping his ski poles two years ago. A few months later, he had the diagnosis. I would be dead within five, five years. But that prognosis is changing. The president and CEO of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, a major funder of ALS research, says there's been an explosion of progress. Now there are 50 drugs in the pipeline, and the ice bucket challenge and the infusion of all that money are really making a significant difference. Just as important, there are many more doctors, researchers, biotech companies, and students entering the field, which helps with new treatments and... The technological advancements in care uh, and multidisciplinary care, that probably extends life by as much as 18 months. The identification of multiple genes associated with ALS has also given researchers numerous new drug targets and again, hope. With the genetic discoveries and the potential for gene replacement therapy and other therapies, we could potentially cure this. And now there's hope. In the past years, there was no hope. Still, so whatever that cure turns out to be, it's realistically still years away. That's why it's important to also focus on the therapies that extend life while clinical trials continue to make progress. And we posted more information on our website on how you can help without hopefully getting ice water on top of you. <laughs> you know, I've been following a lot of these diseases, these neurologic neurodegenerative diseases that were considered complete dead ends for research. Nothing we can do about them. And it is amazing the progress that's been made in just the last couple of years, not just in Lou Gehrig's, but a number of other ones. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to see that what's happening. There's a lot of hope going out there. Truly.